Have you ever lain awake at night, your mind spinning with thoughts about the end of the world? Perhaps you found yourself caught in a loop of catastrophic scenarios, your heart pounding as you contemplate the inevitable. This, dear listener, is known as end times anxiety, and it's far more common than you might think. In a world where news of conflict, environmental disasters, and global pandemics are but a few clicks away, it's no wonder that so many of us are gripped by these fears. It's a natural human response to feel uneasy about the future, especially when the future seems uncertain and fraught with potential hazards. But when this unease escalates into a persistent worry, it can be detrimental to our mental health. End times anxiety is not just about fearing the apocalypse or the end of the world as we know it. It's about the fear of losing control, the dread of the unknown, the unease of living in a world that seems to be hurtling towards chaos at an alarming rate. It's about feeling powerless in the face of such vast, overwhelming issues. But here's the thing. You're not alone in feeling this way. Millions of people around the world grapple with these fears every day. It's a shared human experience, a collective worry that binds us together. And while it's an uncomfortable, even terrifying thought, there's also a certain comfort in knowing that you're not alone in your fears. So why are we talking about this? Because acknowledging these fears, understanding them, is the first step towards managing them. It's about taking that fear and turning it into something constructive, something that can spur us into action rather than paralyze us with dread. It's about finding ways to navigate through this anxiety, to cope with it, and to maintain our mental health even in the face of such daunting concerns. In the end, it's not about ignoring or denying these fears. It's about understanding them, managing them, and ultimately empowering ourselves to face the future with courage and resilience. End times. Anxiety is not an uncommon phenomenon, and it's vital to understand how to navigate through it. End times anxiety goes beyond a simple fear. It's a deep-seated concern about the future and our place in it. This is not your everyday worry about bills, work, or relationships. End times anxiety is a profound unease that stems from the uncertainty of what lies ahead on a global scale. In essence, it's a sense of impending doom, a belief that the world as we know it is coming to an end. Now this doesn't necessarily mean an apocalypse with fire and brimstone. It could be about climate change, political unrest, pandemics, or even technological advances that drastically alter our way of life. So how does end times anxiety differ from regular anxiety? Well, general anxiety usually revolves around personal issues like job security or health concerns. It's often temporary and scenario specific, but end times anxiety, it's persistent and pervasive looming in the back of your mind, coloring your perception of the world. Now let's talk about the signs and symptoms of end times anxiety. It can manifest as chronic worry about global events and their potential catastrophic outcomes. There may be a constant sense of unease, restlessness, or even physical symptoms like headaches or a racing heartbeat. It can also lead to feelings of helplessness and hopelessness, as the issues at hand seem too vast and complex for any one person to tackle. You might find yourself consumed by news cycles, constantly checking for updates on global crises. Or perhaps you're struggling with sleep, your mind buzzing with what-ifs. Maybe you're withdrawing from social activities, feeling disconnected from the world around you. These are all potential signs of end times anxiety. Here's the thing though, it's natural to worry about the future, it's part of being human. But when that worry becomes overwhelming and starts affecting your everyday life, it's time to take action. Recognizing the signs of end times anxiety is the first step towards managing it. And remember, there's no need to navigate this alone. There are resources and strategies to help you cope, and we'll explore these in the next segment. End times anxiety might feel overwhelming, but there are strategies that can help you cope. Let's delve into some of these practical techniques that can assist in managing your worries about the future. Firstly, Maintaining a healthy lifestyle is paramount. This means eating a well-balanced diet, getting regular exercise and ensuring you're getting enough sleep. A healthy body can lead to a healthy mind and can give you the strength to manage anxiety when it arises. Another crucial tip is to stay informed. 
but avoid obsessing over every piece of news that comes your way. It's important to keep up to date with what's happening in the world, but overexposure can lead to increased anxiety. Set specific times during the day to catch up on news and then allow yourself to disconnect. It's also key to ensure your sources of information are credible and reliable. Next, focus on what you can control. It's natural to feel overwhelmed by the enormity of global issues, but remember, you're only human. Concentrate your energy on actions within your control, such as reducing your carbon footprint, volunteering in your community, or advocating for change. These positive actions can provide a sense of purpose and reduce feelings of helplessness. Lastly, don't hesitate to seek professional help if you're struggling. There's no shame in reaching out to a mental health professional who can provide guidance and support. There are numerous resources available from therapists and counselors to support groups and helplines. Remember, it's okay to feel anxious about the future. It shows you care, and that's a good thing. But it's also important not to let this anxiety control your life. By maintaining a healthy lifestyle, staying informed without obsessing, focusing on what you can control, and seeking professional help when needed, you can better manage your end times anxiety. These strategies might not eliminate end times anxiety, but they can certainly help you manage it better. End times. Anxiety can take a toll on your mental health, but remember, you're not alone in this. In fact, this form of anxiety is more common than you might think, especially in a world that seems to be constantly changing and evolving. It's perfectly normal to feel overwhelmed and scared, and it's important to understand that your mental health matters. Dealing with end times anxiety is not something you have to do on your own. There are professionals out there who specialize in helping people navigate these complex feelings. Therapists, counselors, and support groups can provide the tools and strategies you need to cope. Moreover, never underestimate the power of community. Friends, family, and even online forums can offer a shoulder to lean on, a listening ear, and a sense of belonging. They can remind you that you're not alone in your fears and that it's okay to feel the way you do. Remember, it's okay to seek help and it's okay to talk about your fears. So we've explored what end times anxiety is, how it affects us, and how we can cope with it. It's a fear that can seem overwhelming, but remember, it's rooted in our innate desire to understand and predict the future. We've learned that signs of such anxiety can manifest in various ways, from excessive worrying to physical symptoms like insomnia. We've also discussed effective coping strategies. These include grounding exercises, such as mindfulness and meditation, which can help us stay present and not get carried away by our fears. We've highlighted the importance of a strong support network and professional help when needed. But the key takeaway is this. It's okay to feel anxious. It's okay to be uncertain. What's not okay is to let this anxiety consume your present, your joy, your life. Remember, it's natural to worry about the future. But don't let your anxiety control your present. Take care of your mental health, reach out for help if you need it, and remember, you're not alone.